before going to start a meeting i want to share about today's meeting agenda as it is a professional meeting it is mandatory to follow ground rules and agenda okay we are starting a meeting exactly by 8 o'clock and we are going to conclude it by 9:15 and the host will lead a session nearly 40 minutes from 8:10 to 8:15 and this is a schedule for in the schedule for it is a session number 107 uh we are going to listen a valuable presentation by tan quan hong sir from singapore he is going to enlighten us with a fabulous topic achieve massive success with powerful goals so on this occasion i would like to remind you all uh, about the ground rules and being uh, please keep your uh, video if possible on or and audio should be in a mute mode until unless the host uh, informs you to talk or speak now i am glad to invite neelu hasan uh, hasmal ma'am from mauritius uh, to introduce the host to the partakers over to you ma'am can you i am neelu hasmal from beautiful island of mauritius Originally I am from India but since 50 years I am in Mauritius so even my philosophy in life is always keep on learning irrespective of whatever your age is like so it's today is my great honor as a toastmaster to introduce one of the highest rank holder in international toastmasters two times DTM three times district champion and runner up none other than dr tan quing hong he is from singapore and now let me tell you what we mean by dtm dtm stands for distinguished toastmasters ladies and gentlemen less than 1% of all toastmaster ever achieve this dtm and can you imagine dr tan has achieved twice this uh, dtm is very very Uh, valuable rank and title in uh, toastmasters and not only that mr tang uh, he has done his phd in finance msc in uh, human resources and mit bsc in economics and so many certificate uh, educator and microsoft innovative educator too along with countless qualifications degrees and diplomas diplom uh, diplomas achieved in his life ladies and, ladies and gentlemen fasten your seat belts as a international motivational speaker who has spoken to over 88 the uh, 870000 people in 1000 different organization in over 50 countries can you imagine and his mission is about helping people to achieve greater success in peak performance he has held many workshops and seminars in different countries different part of the world so let's learn how to achieve massive and bright success with powerful goals their tips tricks and techniques in right way to trans from our selves the six areas in our life that we must plan for our rounded life so what you think are you ready to gain the maximum knowledge and wisdom from dr ten one of the great speaker please join me in welcoming dr ten with huge round of applause Dr. Ten, virtual stage is yours. Please. Oh, thank you very much, Coach Nilu, for the wonderful introduction. Now, hello everybody. Uh, Panakam, Namaste. Nice to meet all of you here, and good evening from Singapore. It is a great pleasure to be here in this wonderful platform called Share Every to share my little bit of humble knowledge with all of you. And as what Coach Nilu has said. I go in life to make people successful, and today I'm going to make you as successful as you can be. Because if you have mastered the knowledge in this 40 minutes, 
you are going to change your life. Your life will change. You will see things in a different way and you will elevate your skills and success again and again. Alright, so are you excited? Okay, is everyone excited? Hello! <laughs> mm, so quiet, huh? So, without further ado, let's jump into this. How should we achieve a massive success with powerful goals? How can you set powerful goals? How can you use goal setting to transform your life? And let me share with you something. Now, across the many years coaching people and giving seminars all across Asia and all across the world, I always realized something. The successful people tend to achieve again and again many things. They achieve things like uh, success, academic qualifications, they achieve success in their career, in wealth, in every different project that they want to do. So it seems like there's actually a DNA for success. There's actually a pattern, a framework, or even a DNA that if once we know how these people achieve success again and again, we can replicate some part of it to improve our own success, isn't it? So do you know of anyone who have achieved this success again and again? Would you want them to tell you the secret? Well, the secret can be many things. There are many different shades of secrets. I'm going to share with you one part that has been working very well for me over the last 10, 20 years. And that is how I also achieved some of my success. So I'm going to share with you a few things. The first thing is this. How to unleash the power of goal setting to transform your life because right now we want to transform our life so as i am sharing with you this knowledge please take out a piece of paper take down some notes think about your goals as i go along and if you have some goals you want to achieve please type in the chat and share with everyone all right so can i get that from you that's for sure all right very good thank you very much coach so then what, have you seen this story called Alice in Wonderland? Right, Alice in Wonderland. It is a very famous story from America. And in this picture, there was this particular scene when Alice came to the fork of a road. And she asked, which road do I take? And beside her, there was this cat called the Cheshire Cat. And the Cheshire Cat said, where do you want to go? But Alice answered, I don't know. And then the cat replied, it doesn't matter. So this is how our life is like. If you do not know where you want to go, what you want to achieve, what do you want to have, what do you want to leave behind, if you have no clue about all these answers, then no matter how much you work, how hard you work, how much you achieve, it all doesn't matter. So the very basic premise is to know where you want to go, who you want to be and what you really want. And this class helps you to clarify that thought. Okay? So moving on, we need to change the way we see goal setting. Now, I know that there are many coaches out there teaching goal setting and you can read online about how to set goals. But we need to change the way we perceive goal setting because goal setting is fundamentally an intrapersonal skill. Intrapersonal because it involves how we communicate with ourselves. It involves how we talk to ourselves. Goal setting is how we motivate ourselves. What do we say to ourselves when we hit an obstacle? What do we tell ourselves if we want something we desire? Can you see that it is how we communicate with ourselves? It is an intrapersonal skill. Yes, but not many coaches come from such an angle to conduct goal setting workshops. So I want to let you know that goal setting First of all, it's an intrapersonal skill. It involves self-discovery. It involves how you talk to yourself and how you treat yourself and how you communicate yourself. And believe it or not, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. And that was said by this famous writer called Napoleon Hill. So you, whatever you want to believe about yourself, your mind and your destiny, you achieve it. Start by believing in yourself. So, first of all, don't be pushed by your problem. Sometimes the, we do things to respond to our problem. We do things because a problem or an obstacle exists. But instead of being pushed by our problems, what should we do? We should be led by our dreams. So, one of the 
key success principles that I realized from all the successful people I coach is that successful people are led by their dreams. They are not led by the problems. They have dreams, they have a vision. Think of all these successful people uh, who have been in the world. Okay? Who are they? Who is uh, successful people you admire? Okay? Uh, people from the floor, who is the successful people you admire? It can be a public figure, a politician, a businessman, a sports person. Who's that? Yeah, I think the success people is when who does what they wish to do or what they love to do. And when who uh, do their action in regular basis. So I think mm. these two are most important to <coughs> achieve our goals. Yeah. Very good. Oh, thank you very much, Coach. Now, um, it is quite true. People who do what they love to do and what they wish to do in the first place. They put into action to turn their wishes into reality. All right, these are successful people. So you think about all the successful people in the world. Um, currently, the successful uh, businessman involved, right? Elon Musk, he has been launching SpaceX, right? Have you read the news? He has been launching rockets into space, okay? So these are people with dreams. And who does he hire to solve his dreams? He hire employees to solve his problems. Do you understand that? So can you realize that Bill Gates has a dream? Apple, Steve Jobs have a dream. Yeah, their dream is to send their products into every household. All these people have big dreams and that's why they are successful. And how do they solve the dreams? They hire people to solve the problem. And it is the employees who solve the problem, but these people have dreams. Do you realize the difference between problems and dreams? And can you think about how you can bring yourself or transit from a problem-centered uh, life to a dream-centered life? Uh, if you can find a way to bridge that gap, maybe you will, it will elevate your life. Okay? Mm. Alright. So mm. next part. Okay. However, there are many different ways we are setting goals wrongly. There are many, many different ways. The first way is that we set goals that are too easy. Sometimes we are afraid to fail. We are worried that we fail. We are worried that we do not do well. So we set goals that we think we can achieve. But if the goals are too easy, it will not stretch our abilities and will not stretch our imagination. Next, we set goals that are too far away, too unreachable. We cannot reach the goal. And because we cannot reach the goal, we give up and we say that eh, we can never achieve it. And we give up. Once we give up, the goal can never be achieved in our life. The next part is we don't write our goal down. How many of you have wishes? You have a new year resolution. Okay, if you have a new year resolution, raise your hand. Yes, and we all have our new year resolutions and bucket list. Everybody has. I think everybody that... has. Yes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Wow. So do you write them down? Yeah. And do you but, write them down? Right? Yeah, I didn't write, but uh, um, they, 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 they may be in our mind. <laughs> oh, I oh, want to finish sorry. this in this year. Yes, we have plans, many plans mm. to work out. Okay, that's good. It's excellent. It's good to have plans, to have <laughs> many plans. I think that is a wonderful thing. Okay, so that's a wonderful thing. But many people have dreams and goals and New Year resolutions, but they don't write it down. Do you know of a friend who wish that he will sit down, he will become fitter, he will have a six-pack abs, he will go to the gym, he says, hey, I want to be fit. But he never even writes it down. And after that, along the way, at the end of the year, you ask him, do you achieve your new resolution? What do you think he will say? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, somebody have a new resolution to write a book. I want to write a book, I want to be a published author. End of the year, you go and visit, where is your book? And he says, oh, I haven't started yet. Is it very common? Yeah, these are the people who don't write down their goals. So we must always remember, write it down. If it is important, you must write it down. Just like your name, your name is important, so you write it down on the certificate, on the birth certificate, on your identity card, you write it down. If something is important enough, make sure you always write it down, okay? So we don't write our goals. Next, we don't remind ourselves what our goals are. Sometimes we have a newer resolution, we set a fantastic goal in January, we have fantastic plans, and along the way, we got put by our problems. We got put away by our problems. 
You see, always be led by your dreams, not by your problems. But we are always put away by our problems and we forget our dreams. That's why we never achieve it. Okay? So we don't remind ourselves what our goals are. Next, we don't measure our goals. Another common mistake is to not measure your goals. Okay? That's a big error. Sometimes we do not know how far we are succeeding or failing. Okay, we do not know how far we are going. You see, every game, every sport has a way to calculate score. Soccer, you can calculate score. Cricket, your favorite sport, we can calculate sport, score. Basketball, there's a scoring system. Every game in the Olympics has a scoring system. What about your goal? Do you have a way to measure it? Do you have a way to keep score? How do you know you are scoring well or not scoring enough? Okay, so we must always measure our goals. Create a measurement system. Next, we don't enroll other people into our goals. That is a very common error as well. You see, many times we set goals to ourselves. We keep it to ourselves. We have fantastic goals but we tell no one. But we should learn to tell the other people our goals because you never know, somebody has the resources and the knowledge to point you to the right way. Some people have the people whom they know who can help you in their goals. And you never know, somebody has the same goal as you. So you can journey together in this goal. So always share your goal and grow people to support you in your goal. And in turn, you also support other people in their goal. Okay? So these are some of the common errors why we are not achieving enough. If you solve all of this, your chances of success is going to climb and going to transform, explode massively. Okay, and finally, we just don't want it enough. Many times we want things or we are excited for the moment and after a few months, we forget our goals and we reduce our desire for the goal. So you must always remember the hungriest wolf you always get food. We must always be hungry. Okay, very, very hungry to succeed. Okay? So next part, okay, the right way. How can we optimize our goals? First part, goal setting must be set in context. Now, this is so important. This is a paradigm shift. You must pay attention to this part. The context is always more important than the goal itself. The context is more important than the goal itself. What does it mean? Now, context means the reason and the purpose why you want your goal in the first place. The reason is more important than what you achieve. Now, many people want to be a millionaire. Many of us want to be rich. Who wants to be rich? Raise your hand and your wish will come true. Uh, those who don't raise your hand, oh, too bad. The genie is not going to grant your wish. <laughs> okay, who wants to be rich? Raise your hand. Must affirm. All right, very good. Okay, and so those of uh, many of us want to be rich, and that's a wonderful goal to have. Now, the reasons why we want to be rich might differ. Somebody wants to be rich because he wants to send his son or daughter to school, while another person wants to be rich because he wants freedom. He wants to be free. He don't want to report to a boss. He wants to do things his own way. He wants to travel the world. Another person wants to be rich because he wants to prove to his parents that he can achieve it. Maybe the parents look down on him. Or maybe some other friend in his school look down on him. People said something bad about him when he was young. They say they criticized, he was criticized that he cannot achieve his goal. He will always be poor. So he wants to prove. You see, every one of them that I mentioned just now has the same goal. But they have a different context. Do you get the idea now? Okay, we can have the same goal but we have different contexts. Sometimes we want to be rich because we want to help more people. We want to donate to our village hospital. We want to build schools. You see, different reasons and different contexts for the same goal. So every goal you have must have a context. It must have a compelling reason. You must know why you want it in the first place. The context is always more important than the goal. And the context, if you set it right, if you found the correct one, will drive your goal. It will attract your success. Okay? So the next part, Create goals into a holistic and proven system. Every successful company has a system. Every successful mission has a system. So you also have to have a system. Goals cannot be sporadic. Achievement cannot be sporadic. You need to have a system, a system of doing things. For example, if you succeed, do A. If you do not succeed, do B. So that you can gain success. You need to have a flow chart, a diagram, something to systemize your goals. So you can track and measure every single action along the way. 
right? Next, the purpose is to achieve goals in seemingly effortless way. You need to achieve, learn to achieve things like as if you are attracting it all the time. So for example, for me, I'm attracting clients every day. People will call me up, people will ask me to speak to them, speak to their schools, speak to their corporate, coach them, give them ideas. I'm always hired a lot. So the purpose is to achieve goal in a very seemingly effortless way. Like everything just comes to you, okay? So how do we do that? There are actually six parts that you need to focus on. If you focus on these six parts, each part will reinforce each other. Each part will build on each other and you will achieve a spiral of virtuous cycle of success. Success built on each other. And you can see these are the six pillars of your life. The first pillar is wealth. We need money to go around. Second, health. You need a good health because your body is your temple. All right, next, environment is also important. It's a very often neglected area. You need to focus on yourself. You need to build other people and you need to continuously find a system to learn, learn and learn, learn as much as you can. So what do we do? You see, the six parts again, wealth, health, learning, environment, yourself and others. So wealth means anything, any goal that you set for your business, your career, your passive income, investment income, savings, these are all wealth goals. Okay, anything. And you need to have clear goals for wealth. Build your wealth, business, career over time. So for example, wealth goals could be a business goal. Like you want to uh, serve another 100 more customers this year. You want to mm, give another 100 more talks this year. So this could be wealth goals. Okay, it can be passive income. You want to find a good investment to invest in. You want to buy a new property. Okay? It can be to increase your savings. That is also a wonderful goal. To get out of debt. Sometimes we have debt, so we want to get out of debt. That's a wonderful goal. Alright? Yes. So somebody raise their hands. Okay. Alright, next, health goals. Uh, <laughs> diet, nutrition, fitness, and sleep. Now sometimes we pursue wealth, we have all the money, but we neglect our health. The Dalai Lama once said that humans are the biggest irony. We spend our time chasing wealth, chasing money, but in the end, we use the wealth to sub buy supplements to improve our health in the first place. So aren't we kind of uh, an irony? We chase wealth, we chase money, thinking that you bring us success. Then we neglect our health, and that defeats the purpose. So you must always find reasons or find a system to improve your health every single time. For example, change your diet. Have some diet goals, diet plans. Improve your nutrition. Build your body. Go and run. Go for a run. Go for an exercise. Okay? Or maybe improve your sleep pattern. Next part, learning. We are now in an information age, which means we must keep on learning all the time. We cannot be stagnant. We need to learn. We need to gain new ideas gain new perspectives and different insights to different ideas and systems. So read a lot, have a goal to learn skills, be very clear about what competencies you want, write goals based on what skills you want to acquire at the end of the year, know how you must measure the skills. Okay? And learning can also be spiritual as well. Like for example, you want to learn more about yourself. Find spiritual ways like meditation to understand yourself better. That itself is also self-discovery and therefore learning. Okay? So next, environment. We must also make a goal for our environment to improve our environment. Because the environment itself will determine our success as well. Many times, many coaches don't teach us to set goals on our environment. So what do we mean by environment? It means what can we do to improve the office, improve the place you study, improve the place you live in. Can we clear the mess, clear the cluster? Can we beautify the places? Can we make the place more conducive to live and work? Okay. As long as you set goals to maintain your environment or improve your environment, that can help you to succeed. All right? That is why right, there are some goals whereby there was this admiral who says that the first thing you must do every single day is to make your bed. Right? There was this motivational book, make your bed every single day. The reason is because if you had a bad day where everything fails, then at least 
you have something completed in the morning, which is to make your bed. So that is an environment goal that you can set every single day. Okay? And you never know, once you clear the cluster, once you clear the mess in your house, your success will improve. Next part is yourself. Do something to acknowledge yourself. Do something to look after yourself, to pamper yourself every now and then. Because many times we do things to look after people, especially our fathers, mothers, parents, teachers. We are out there to look after people. And sometimes we look after people without looking after ourselves. So always find a good method or system to reward yourself, to pamper yourself and to show yourself that you love you. Okay? Love yourself all the time. And finally, others. Others means to contribute to other people, do community service, acknowledge other people without expecting anything in return. So these are the six goals that we must plan to achieve. This is the basic of the system. Okay, are you excited? Are you having goals in your mind right now? Are you thinking of a systematic or set? Okay. So there are different steps to achieve goals. For example, the first step is decide what you want in each pillar. Okay, everybody decide what you want in each pillar. Do it after my talk. Before you go to bed, spend one hour decide what you want in each of the six areas. The second one, write it down in detail, as much detail as possible. Don't just write, I want to be fit, I want to be rich. These goals are useless because it has no detail at all. Okay, next, set the deadline. You must always have a deadline. Yeah? So, when do you want to become rich? Is it 100 years old? When you are no longer around? When? Okay? Uh, our goal will differ based on our deadline. Okay, next, make a list of steps you need to get for, to each goal. If you can, write down all the steps you need. As much as possible, as far as your eyes can see, and as far as your mind can see. Okay, next, organize your list into a plan with priorities. Since you have many plans, you have many steps, many, many tasks to take, which task is the most important one? And for that, listen to the Pareto Law. Pareto Law says that 20% of the steps will lead to 80% of your results. So you focus on the top 20% of the most important tasks to achieve 80% of your results. Once you finish the top 20% most crucial step, then you move on to the next one. Okay? Next, take action on your plan every single day. Every day you must work on your goals. Work on one of the six pillars every single day. So you might be working on, on your wealth goal from Mondays to Fridays, but on Saturday and Sunday, you can focus on goals like fitness, learning, do things for yourself, do things for others. Every day, you must at least achieve one part of your six pillars. Okay? Measure your results, always find ways to keep score, and always get feedback. Okay? So when you write down your goal, there's actually a greater intention and energy behind it. Do you remember that I talked about context just now? And context involves your purpose and mission. Context involves your reason. Now, all these things are important because you are directing your intention. What do you intend to do? Your intention is itself with energy, it has vibration. So when you write it down, you are enhancing the energy and the intention. You are intensifying the energy and directing it towards the direction. Okay? Next, you must set deadline to Kind of force yourself, force your subconscious mind to achieve something, to do something, to get going. And of course, cultivate discipline. Discipline is very important. Do one thing every day because you need to build momentum and sustain momentum. Momentum here is the key word. Sometimes we achieve our goal and then we relax, we slack off. And once we want to get back into our goal, we cannot get it back because we lose our momentum. Okay? So building momentum is a lifelong process. Wrong way to write goals. The first wrong way is no details. Okay, for example, this, I want to be rich. Do you have goals like this? Okay, or have you seen goals like this? I want to be rich. I want to be fit. I want to be happier. Okay, I want a big house. All these are not goals. They are just wishes and dreams. Okay, no deadline is another problem. I want to earn hundred thousand dollars. Now this is a better goal because you have a you have a quota. You have a KPI, Key Performance Indicator, so it's better goal. $100,000, but by when? You see, to earn $100,000 by the end of the year, 
is different from earning hundred thousand dollars by the end of the month. <laughs> it is also very different from earning hundred thousand by the end of the week. You see, the different timelines will affect your strategies, it will affect your path. So always set a deadline. Next, I want to move into a bigger house. By when? By this year? Five years from now? Ten years from now? Twenty years from now? By when? We need to know a timeline because timeline affects your strategy. Okay? So how do we write goals? Now a few things you must do. Details, deadline, done, measurable. Okay, you need to have four elements here. Every time you write your goal, you need to have four elements. Details, your deadline, your done, your measurable. Let me explain part by part. The first element, okay, is details. Okay, I'll share with you later on how to write it. Okay, remember, you must always frame your goals in a way that energizes you. It means that every time you look at your goals, you feel excited. You feel that you want to jump into it, you want to be involved, you want to achieve it. The goal itself has energy. And if you write in a way that has positive energy, you will want to be more and more involved with your goals. And of course, needless to say, you will succeed more. Okay. Next, your goals need to allow you to keep score. You need to measure it. You need to keep score like a game. Treat it like a game. Next, you need to know what must happen before you know you have achieved your goal. Especially for goals like, I want to be happy. So what does happy mean to you? Is it to win a trophy? Is it to be successful in life? Is it to spend more time with your family? Is it to travel the world? You see, goals that are big. I want to be happy. This kind of happiness has many shades of happiness and many different levels of happiness. Which one are you aiming for? You need to know exactly what kind of happiness you want. Okay, next, create goals and then process goals. Goals is the final outcome, the destination, and process goals are the steps you need to achieve to reach your final goal. For example, let's say you are selling computers. Each computer earns you $1,000 and you want to earn $10,000 by the end of the month. So you need to sell 10 computers, isn't it? 1,000 per computer, sell 10, you earn $10,000 and you achieve your goal. So to sell 10 computers is a process goal. To earn $10,000 is your final goal, your destination goal. Okay? And write it as if you have already accomplished it. This is very important. Write your goals as if it is already done. You already have it. Don't write your goals as if it is too far out. Write your goals as if you already have it in your head. Yeah, and you must be able to visualize the journey and the end result. Have some sort of picture, visualize it, feel it, listen to it all the time. Okay. So, write goals as if it was already achieved. This is very important. Okay, as if you already have it. Many times we learn to write goals as if it is so far away. It is not within us yet. It is not with us yet. So we must write goals as if it is already done. So all things are actually created twice. There's a mentor of first creation and the mentor of first creation is created in your head. And there's also a physical or second creation to all things. Things that are manifested in real life. So if you want to achieve something, you must first create something in your head. Everything must be conceived in your mind before you can achieve in real life. Therefore, when you conceive things in your mind, conceive it as if it was already done or it was already achieved. Okay, next. How should your goals look like? Okay, how should your goals look like? Now, I talked about the four elements just now, remember? Okay, I want to be rich. Change it to something like this. I'm overjoyed. Okay, link it with an emotion, overjoyed. What emotion do you want? Anchor you with an emotion, your key emotion. I'm overjoyed to have earned $100,000 or more. Okay, details, $100,000 is your detail. By 31st December 2021, that is your deadline. You need to have a deadline. By selling at least 1,000 computers. Okay, this is, could be your process goal or could be the key performance indicator, the key way you keep score in my sales job. This is, this is one example of how your goal should look like. It involves many different things. It involves the key emotion. When you see it, you feel excited. You want to be involved. Right in the way that you can be involved. You feel excited. You have positive vibration. Okay? You have earned $100,000. It has detail. 
31st December, it has a deadline. It has a process goal, 1,000 computers. Okay? So it must be like this. And remember that this is the feeling that you want on 31st December or before. So by 31st December or even before, you are feeling overjoyed. See, you are telling your subconscious mind that, hey, this is the state I want to be in in the future. You get the idea? Okay, next, I want a girlfriend. Okay, what if you have a big goal like this? I want a girlfriend. Next, visualize very clearly. Be in very detail. I am holding. You see, you are not uh, you are not trying to get a girlfriend. You are already holding the hands of a girlfriend. You see that? You write as if you have already achieved it. Write as if it is already done. It is already there, set for you to have it. I'm holding the hand of a gorgeous, long-haired Asian girl who is 1.7 meters tall. Okay, use the words that energize you. Gorgeous. What kind of words energize you? Okay, what kind of words energize you? Write it down. It must have positive energy because words carry energy. It has vibration. So write the details. You want an Asian girl, 1.7 meters tall, has virtues like compassion and hard work. You see, write the details down. Be very descriptive so your subconscious mind know where to look for. Okay? On which day? You need the deadline as well. Get the idea? Okay, and write as if you have already done it. Don't write things like, I want a girlfriend, as if you don't have it. Because you are telling your subconscious mind that you do not have one yet. Okay, if you say, I want to be rich, it means you are not rich now. I want to be smart, it means you are not smart now. You see, we write goals as if we do not have something. But you must write a goal that as if you have something. You have that thing. Next, I want to be fit. Okay? You can write a goal as if you already have it. I just completed 24 hours and ran 2.4 kilometers under 10 minutes on which day? 30th, 30th of June. So, can you write your goal this way? It has all the details. You see, fit is so vague. What do you mean by fit? Being fit could be climbing the steps, could be running a marathon. What is fit to you? Write it down. How do you keep score? 24 hours. If you achieve 24 hours, you can consider yourself fit. If you ran uh, maybe 2.4 kilometers, which is one and a half mile, in under 10 minutes, you could consider yourself fit. Okay? So write, what does fitness mean to you? Write it down. And write as if you have already done it by a certain day. Okay? And you can break down goals into milestones. You roughly get the idea now? You get the idea? If you get the idea, raise your hand. Okay? If you get what well, I'm driving at, raise your hand. Can you see that it is quite different from what we have been learning so far? There's so many differences. Can you see that these are the things that, are, that blogs, articles don't teach you? You see that we have to change the way we see goals and goal setting exercises. Hmm? Okay, so what are your goals? Maybe I will hear from some of you. Can you share with me some of your goals? Okay. Can you share your goals? Because you can share with us and with uh, suppose Dr. Tan. <laughs> okay. Do you have yeah. any, any any of your goals? Please raise your hand. Okay, good. I saw um, yes. of Coach Nilu and uh, Johannes. So I think yeah, Nilu can go first and then Johannes. Yeah, I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. and uh, can I share? Yeah. yeah, you know, now I want to progress in my spiritual life. So, you know, meditation, I do 5-10 minutes, but I want to go longer. At least, oh, okay. yeah. So that is my now goal of 2021. At least in this field, I want to come. That's wonderful. That's a very good goal to have. Spiritual goal, meditation, mindfulness. Very wonderful goal. Wow, I hope you succeed. And let me know how it goes for you. Yeah, I'll be cheering you on. Okay. Anybody want to share? Okay, one more. Okay, maybe I'll come on Johannes first, then I will move on to the final slide. Okay? Yeah, Johannes, are you ready? Okay, good evening, Sir Kwan Hong Tan. I'm uh, Johannes from Indonesia. 
Yeah, even though I'm late to come and join your uh, presentation, but I'm really happy to see you all here in good health. And uh, why uh, that, that's the goal for me, yeah? Uh, for me in life, uh, I, I bet on the people around us, yeah? If we, uh, I think they have their own goals, yeah? For me, um, because now we live in the pandemic, yeah? We live in the pandemic, COVID-19. So my goal is that I really want to be free from that pandemic, and uh, I will <laughs> I will go go and travel around. Uh, no, not the world, but to visit my family. Yeah, to visit my family because, as you know, it's um, two years. Yeah, two years already uh, because of the pandemic. So uh, we can't. Uh, gather together during the festival like here. Now we're going to celebrate uh, Ramadan Karim and I can't do that, but yeah, this is my, um, my goals. I mean, my attention to visit them. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> For sharing that uh, very meaningful goal uh, to see your family. I can understand that. Uh, yes, I totally understand where you're coming from and I feel you as well. I hope this COVID will be over soon. <laughs> if I have something I can do to stop and fight COVID, I will do it. It's really wonderful. Yes, Thanks yes. for sharing. Yes. May I share? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So my my really big goal is as this uh, gentleman was saying, but as you said, we should say it's already happened. So my goal actually is peace and well-being in the world. And I am already saying it as if it's already happened. It's done. So we okay. have to put, if every one of us say our goals like that, it's done. And that's how it's going to manifest, right? Yes, it is. Okay, and you have to write it down and do something to your goal every day. Yeah. And then it will manifest. Okay. Well done, well done. Wow, you have a big goal. Very, very big. Uh, huge goal to have. That's very meaningful as well. Okay, good. Anyone else? Yeah, and I have a small uh, goal. It's a uh, not. It's an unusual goal. And uh, and we started this platform in 2020, John 11. Uh, and we have a common goal. The common goal is, and uh, everybody want to improve or enhance their. Uh, knowledge in English. So it's a really uh, huge demand in India and not just in India and those who are learning English as a second language learner and it's a, English is a bridge language or connect, connected language so there is no other language to transact from one place to one new place to another new place so that is why being as a government employees we started this open platform everybody those who are peeping or coming or joining uh, on this platform by taking wonderful insights from the people like you they all want to get maximum benefit from all these classes and they feel very happy and as uh, Johannes told and we want to overcome this uh, this guest disease as soon as possible yes we are all hoping so, so thank you sir so to you Thank you very much. Okay. All right, last two. Uh, okay, I saw two hands. Wow, that's very wonderful goal. Uh, coach, very wonderful goal. I think you are on your way to achieving success and uh, impacting more people in India and around the world to learn English language. Okay, so there's, there, are, there are two more people here. English, Hassan. I saw your hand raised first and followed by uh, Mr. Matri. Yes, hi everyone. How are you all doing? Um, hi. And... Um... Uh, Mr. Kwan Hong Tang, you are doing really a good job. I appreciate it. And yes, my goal is not to have a goal at all in my life. Okay. Yeah. And live a life without any needs. I don't really want to have a goal. And I don't want to live this life with this much of pressure and uh, being kind of packed into, uh, into a limitation and uh, live in this um, kind of a very stressed life uh, because of a goal. Uh, so I don't want to have any goal and live this life like uh, the animals do. 
and uh, they don't have any any goal but they still live happily uh, they get their food and uh, they eat they sleep they have fun they fly uh, birds fly anywhere it it wants and animals go anywhere it wants and uh, they live actually a happy life and my goal is to have no goals <laughs> No goal is actually a goal in itself, okay? And this is a... Yes, it is. It is, uh, it is actually my goal. Yeah. Okay, great. As long as you're happy, okay? Because yeah. in the end of the day, uh, we do things to uh, not only create value to the world and to our life, but also be happy. Yeah. I right. think that's also a wonderful approach. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good yeah. cool approach. I... 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 <laughs> Hello, I really appreciate that guy. By God, uh, it's it's really a good statement. I am totally agree with the, that goal. They have no any goal. Uh, I, I love from Pakistan. Hi, assalamu alaikum. Yes, I think Rashmi ma'am has raised her hand, sir. Eh? Please ma'am, please respond. Rashmi ma'am. Ma'am, you are in mute. Sir, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes. Sir, I have a question to Hong Tan, sir. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sir, just now you shared that uh, write your goals as if they are achieved or they are done. What what makes the difference, sir? Writing so, what makes the difference? Yes. Okay. Very good question. Now, there's actually a huge difference. Okay. You can go and back and try it uh, yourself. Now, we want, can we write goals? If we say our goal that I want to be rich, I want to be happy, the message the subconscious receives is this you are not happy enough, you are not rich enough. This is what your subconscious interprets. Okay? So you see, if you say I want to be rich, it means you are not rich enough, you are not already rich. You see that? Then your subconscious will interpret as if you have a lack. Your life is lacking in wealth. If you say, I want to be happy, your subconscious will say that, hey, you're not happy enough. There is a lack of happiness. You see that? We are subconsciously sabotaging our success when we say, I want. I want means you're not enough. There's not enough. And because of that, we never feel happy. So what if you write as if you already achieved? It already has happened. That's the reason why we do that. Okay. I hope you answered the question. Good yes, question. Yes. There. Well, yes, yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I get from the question. Uh, sorry, it's very, it appears very fuzzy to me. So your question means that a uh, uh, businessman is more independent. Therefore, he has more opportunities to set goals. To set bigger goals or dreams or goals that is wider in scope. Whereas a uh, job man is more restricted in the kind of goals he can set. Do you mean that? Because he's more dependent on his job. He has to listen and follow someone. Uh, is that what you mean? Uh, yes. Uh, do you think a job man is independent like businessman? Uh, okay. Now, uh, let me explain this. Okay, very important. You see, regardless of your circumstances in life, whether you are working for someone or whether you are you are already retired, so you are free and independent, or whether you are in the business, okay, it doesn't matter. You see, the context of your goal is more important. Even if you are working for people and your bosses are demanding, you have so little time for yourself, you can still set goals that are independent to your nature. That means you set goals that will improve your wealth. For example, if you read and learn about how to invest, you read and learn about how to set up a side business. These are goals that can add to your wealth, even though you are still being employed. You see, in Singapore, there are many of us who also go out there to try to learn internet marketing, digital marketing, and learn how to uh, trade the stock market or invest the money in the long run, even though they are working a lot for their employers. Okay? So even though they might not be independent, but they can still make independent decisions and goals for their own personal life. Yeah, that's what I mean, all right? So don't let the fact that you're working for somebody stop you from achieving your own goal. Okay, do you understand? 
now even so that uh, yes uh, there is also a confusion uh, now yes. ma'am jita ma'am you please come forward yes sir yes sir thank you sir thanks sachan for your wonderful and valuable session today uh, you really enlightened us with your valuable presentation by sharing your tips tricks and techniques on life changing and transforming uh, by setting our goals uh, now this is the time uh, with equal pleasure i invite rajeshwari ma'am from telangana to give valuable feedback on this session yeah, over to rajeshwari yeah. ma'am thank you madam answer can you yeah please thank you yes ஒரு <laughs> and uh, thank you sir for uh, this session and sir and so whatever we learn from this so whatever you explained in this session so these all we are going to implement from now onward so so what we are doing in wrong ways so how to uh, interrupt our uh, skills in interpersonal skills self discover so what are the pillars uh, give fruitful result in setting powerful goals so this is very very important in achieving our goals so this uh, this is very very useful to us so in this uh, environment learning and wealth health so these all are very very important in setting our goals so process of setting goals and what are the wrong ways uh, we are doing in uh, we are not doing uh, we are not writing in uh, goals so how to how our goals should be look like and these all are things are uh, very very important and essential to set our uh, powerful goals so how to how our goals should be look like so these are things are very very important uh, to achieve our set our massive goals so thank you very much sir giving this opportunity thank you rajeshwari ma'am for your valuable feedback uh it's really a great session we had today we we should be feel blessed to be in this session and uh, now i uh, i invite prasad garu from andhra pradesh to have a interactive session with the partaker ma'am good evening everyone thank you very much uh, for hanging thanks sir yeah, am i audible yes sir you are yes, audible sir. it is audible yeah thank you tan sir after this session i clearly understood why tan sir gained the honor as a dtm twice it is now crystal clear from his presentation because he made everything in a nutshell simple in everyone he is indescribable simply funny for any aspect everyone who wants to become successful in life he prepared a daily routine from morning to evening if you follow you can be successful so sure, thank you sir and the one point is okay now this is time for interaction so what i particularly observed is we have to visualize the journey and and here i would like to add something once a disciple asked his guru how long to take to acquire all the knowledge in this world the guru smiled and said 5 years just 5 years then the student asked if i work day and night okay here you have to pay your attention the guru smiled again and said 15 years you see when we work 8 hours a day it will take 5 years 
if we work day and night 15 years there is the twist that means when our focus is on the end result we neglect the way we are traveling that is the most important thing so we have to observe the path we are traveling and at the same time our destination or the end result that is my view now one point cancer uh, mentioned successful people they succeed again and again now i want the part takers to express the radio support again and again because once you succeed that should not be the issue so one goal after goal we have to continue the journey now i need to i like i would like to know some ideas from the part takers thank you now i would like to uh, invite kavita ma'am yeah, kavita ma'am kavita ramchand ma'am i'm here i can yeah, hear I you th- yeah yeah i think uh, you have joined at the middle of the session and uh, what would you say about uh, see i think it's a new strategy what we have listened uh, observed after listening uh, dr tan kwan hang's message i think i feel really it's a, a fresh one and it's a new one and everybody we write whatever thoughts we have in our mind we note it down in paper and we cross check every time or whether at what stage i am and uh, and then how much distance away from my end end call so but according to our host and we shouldn't note it down the girls <laughs> yes so always we have to work for that so what do you say in this context that we should not write it down or we should write it down we should not write it down well i believe uh, yeah. respected uh, yeah, yeah sir cancer Th- sorry we must yeah i sorry I'm, i might have missed something but we must always write our goal we must write it down <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah ma'am please i totally agree with him uh, respected tanser i would say that uh, there's one thing that most of us have not really learned uh, i'm also a coach and uh, a goal he he explained that we should have goals but do we know why we should have goals the real true purpose of having a goal is to have a direction in life to grow when beings are growth seeking mechanism we are always growing from a baby to adulthood but after adulthood we don't stop growing we keep growing in awareness of our own potential as human beings and uh, one uh, sir asked just now about uh, something to share right he may i ask his question could he repeat the question again he wanted us to share something on that the person who just spoke now yeah, about the the guru said you should not focus on the end result right like in hinduism we say that we say do your do your duty and don't focus on the fruits of your labor but you have to do your action and that's very true i agree with that but having a goal doesn't mean that you are focused on the fruit we take actions take action we are karma how they say karma you know we are we are meant to act in life that's that's why we were given hands and legs and thinking what how to act and what to do but the results of our actions that one we should not be so focused on that and i completely agree with that it does it does make a lot of sense but the was the question related to goals this is what i'm not understanding what was the relation to goals if the person could just repeat that then i could answer 
you know we say karm karo par ki chinta nahi karo this is something in hinduism do your job and don't worry about the consequences of uh, about the fruit and act in the world we cannot just sit and do nothing we have i was i had i was a person who thought my biggest goal in life was to get married have children and help my husband in business until i finally reached a stage which a lot of maybe women like me reach the midlife and we start to question what's next and we think it's midlife crisis hormonal changes and stuff like that that's not what it is we are meant to grow in in awareness now we are meant to grow further in life and we should have goals whether we are a man a child a woman everyone should have their own goals like how a uh, respected dancer said having no goal is is also a goal in itself and let me tell you one thing that i discovered if you don't have a goal you're not growing in life and if you're not growing you're disintegrating so we all want to have goals it's a new concept for us indians at least for me i discovered it 4 years back but i'm here to tell you all that we are growth seeking mechanisms we are always moving towards ascension Yes. If you see it from the spiritual side. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Really, it's a good insight. So thanks for sharing your experience. Yeah. Now I would like to invite again uh, the meeting organizer of today's meeting, Teacher Nalagiri, yes, ma'am, from Kerala. Please. Thank you, Prasad sir and Kavita Ramachandran ma'am and Ram Babu sir for a wonderful interaction on the today's topic. Uh, now this is a time for a meeting announcement. As part of announcements, I I need to give a four announcements today. First and foremost, I will I explain the need for share every, and uh, next schedule timings and classes per week, and next upcoming sessions, different platforms of share every. Thanks to Toastmasters partakers too. Okay. Um. Uh, before that, as you all know, share every is a free global platform. Uh, open to all to enrich and enhance language english language skills we all know now world is fighting with the unseen disaster but if we continuously watch uh, news channels and fear for that and we may get into panic so this is a channel which was utilized to all uh, to come out of that and uh, to upgrade ourselves as second language learners so i request all the partakers of today's session to invite your nearest uh, near and dear ones neighbors or anyone who want to upgrade themselves um, by uh, joining our youtube channel and uh, not only youtube channel you can join our platform you can attend our sessions uh, every tuesday thursday and sunday we are having a three meetings per week and the timings are from 8 o'clock to 9:15 in the evening indian standard time okay and every tuesday we are having a formal meeting and every sunday we are having advanced meeting only 12 members are allowed to participate in this meeting and the, uh, in, on the sunday meeting the link will be forwarded to the specific mail id of the partakers and every th- thursday it is a very interesting and important uh, meeting it is a grammar enhancing program uh, not only indian teachers but also foreign teachers from the toastmasters team also are coming forward to give a valuable grammar sessions in upcoming sessions and uh, next uh, i i want to say please uh, subscribe our channels uh, in all the ways uh, rambabu sir have posted in the chat box about uh, the links of the youtube instagram telegram whatsapp and everything and make uh, this covid situation into a fruitful by enrolling into a fruitful way and i thank mostly the toastmasters team you have uh, your collaboration is making a wonderful with the share every uh, we are seeing a wonderful topics uh, every week and i i thank first ram babu sir uh, for giving this opportunity to indian people uh, you are the pioneer to make uh, our step into international one i thank not only to uh, share every team but also toastmaster team our support should be there with you forever uh, and next uh, this is the time i would uh, invite a uh, chance uh, to give your final so as my final words uh, once again i 
Uh, thank all of you here for your wonderful participation and active listening for this session. And I really hope that this session will benefit you. Alright, so once again, go back home and try out the goals. Set your new goals and maybe your life will change. Put it into action. Yeah, so just don't just listen, but write down your goals. Put it into action. Think about your goals. Write in detail. Okay, so I conduct other talks as well. For example, career skills, personal development skills, communication, business and finance, academic research. I've learned all these things before and I am here to share the knowledge with the whole world. And how can you keep in touch with me? If you are very interested to find out or keep in touch with me, I encourage you to drop me a message in any of these platforms. You can reach out to me, share with me your goals, and let me know how are you doing in life. Let me know about your goals that you have achieved and how you found it useful. And hopefully, share me, with me your good news as well. Okay, I'm available on LinkedIn, and you can also add my personal Facebook account and drop me a text over there. Alright, so once again, set a goal, make plans, get to work, work on your goal every day, stick to your goals, know your context very well, the reasons why you achieved your goal, and the reasons why you want a certain goal. Okay, and if your goal is to have no goal, that's fine as well, as long as you're happy inside. Alright, and most important thing, do your best, do a great job. So thank you very much once again to everyone, uh, to Coach Rambabu, for and all your wonderful our colleagues who, who organize this event. All right, uh, thank you very much, everyone. Hope you have a great night. I shall see you soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you for, thank you for your uh, final words. And uh, before concluding the session, I want to announce the upcoming session. Uh, next coming coming Thursday or Friday, we may have a session by Rambabu sir on model auxiliary and advanced meeting schedule by Savita Ramachand ma'am on the topic. Uh, the science is growing rich. Uh, I wish all partakers who joined today, please do join for the upcoming session and make the sessions brightful. Uh, over to Rambabu sir. Yes. Thank you ma'am. Uh, really, we have a wonderful time with great personalities. And uh, sir, and the next meeting we already fixed uh, to you for two different meetings. One is uh, another uh, Tuesday meeting and another one is grammar topic, am I right, uh, cancer, yeah, and really, and it's a bundle of knowledge we have got, but, uh, and in a hurry, we haven't listened uh, properly, we haven't observed properly, and tomorrow and uh, evening, I'll upload the same meeting in our YouTube channel, and then we may watch again and again to uh, get the maximum essence from your top class lecture, so thanks for uh, joining with us. And by taking just a few seconds from Gautam Pulsar and Yomuna ma'am and we'll wind up the session. Please, just a few seconds. Yes, sir. And yeah. you, Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Uh, it was a wonderful session and uh, uh, we came to know today the tips of uh, what to do, what not to do from the beginning, from the beginning steps like uh, planning and uh, uh, while uh, in, in the planning what we need to do and uh, how to uh, reach our goals. Everything you thought uh, neatly, I mean, uh, you uh, shared your uh, things. Thank you very much for this. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Both of us, please. Mm. All right. I, I'm really grateful to the host for giving us such very profound insights to, uh, to describe that how to make the goals right. It is very important. So really, it is very important, but without goals, we are not humans. If you are a human, definitely you have a goal and you have to go by your goal. So it is very important. And today we get to know that uh, how you can um, prepare goal and how we can achieve goals. So uh, having said that, but it is very important. We are very, uh, we are a different individual, all are, and our capabilities, capacity, endurance, whatever the inner qualities we have, it is different. But uh, before setting a goal, it is very important who you are and how you are. It is very important to know. Uh, and there is a two communities, right? Uh, one community, sorry, it is, I'm getting late, right? I know, so I'm, I'm not killing time. Okay, I, I finish it very short. That is two mentalities are there uh, to make a goal, right? One is business mentality, one is personal mentality, right? We have to, uh, have to have to know ourselves that who we are, what interested in, in what we are interested for, 
or an individual, it is very important. It's very important because if you are a business mind, then definitely finance is a very important aspect. Financial reach, right? It is very important aspect. But if your goal is not uh, to be an entrepreneur or some uh, businessman, definitely your goal should be inner management, right? To how to improve your excellence. So definitely. So this, there are so many things are there, and thank you. Whatever you told, it is very essential, and I got so much things. And thank you for that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Gautam sir. Really, uh, thanks everyone who has taken part to lead the entire meeting. I think uh, who has introduced the host, Milu Hassam al Ma'am from Marishes, and who has uh, lead the entire session, uh, our sole companion of uh, Team Share Every, and she is a uh, teacher, Nagageta Ma'am from Telangana, and who has uh, given feedback over the message of today's host, and she is uh, and, uh, Rajesh Rajeshwar Ma'am, and who has run the session, Prasad Sir, that interaction for so everybody they have done their best i think in coming sessions or for the session too and we may do more than this and we can make the things beautiful and by uh, meeting with very great personalities and coming thursday we'll have a grammar class as uh, our organizer mentioned and coming fun sunday and 16th may uh, we have a wonderful session science the Science of Growing Rich by Kavita Ramchand Ma'am from Marriages. Yes. So thank you, sir. Really, it's an honor to see you. And being as a very, very busy uh, public speaker in Southeast Asia, but you have given uh, time, your precious time on this uh, small uh, platform. So it shows your kindness. It shows your generosity. It shows your, and it's not just, uh, there is a loud one statement that is practice what you preach. And you promised me at the same way, and you uh, stand on that. So really, and whenever we see such people, and definitely you inspire a lot to the people. And so thank you, and we'll meet again on Thursday as well as on Sunday. And thank you, everyone. Take care, and good night. Bye bye. Yeah, and sorry, one more. And if you won't get the turn to share your uh, views. And definitely, we may you may get the chance because uh, and we are uh, following the six strategy. I hope you all understand. Thank you and good night. <laughs> yes.